Oh wow, that is so cool. Check that out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, welcome back here to the hillside for a very, very, very special harvesting video. I've been waiting for this all summer long. This is not just corn. This is a rare Mexican heirloom corn. It is uh, called Oaxacan green corn. Okay, so it comes from the southern regions of Mexico, the Oaxaca region. It's been around for centuries and centuries. Like I said, it's an indigenous corn grown by the natives of Mexico for just countless, countless generations. Okay, so I got these seeds from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. And if you look up here, I mean, some of these stalks are about seven, maybe touching eight feet tall. Um, it is relatively crowded in here, so it's not the best spacing. But, you know, for a small garden like this, I'm really happy for what I got. So let me bring you in kind of close. I'll show you uh, just what it looks like some of the ears as they're developing and what you could expect if you grow this corn yourself. So for a closer look right here, you can tell this corn is ready to harvest and it's not completely dry. As you can tell, some of the stalks are still green. A perfect world, you would leave this out in the field till the entire plant is dried down and harvest it that way. But we've had some heavy winds and some rain is predicted, so I'm gonna go ahead and harvest this now and continue to let it finish drying indoors. But check it out right here. See right here where it's starting to dent? Now that is why they call these corn varieties dent corn because as they ripen and start to dry down, they will actually start to have a dent or like maybe a little dimple, whatever you want to call it, inside of the uh, the kernel there of the corn. So kind of going down here, check out just the awesome variety of colors of this corn. Let's go ahead and harvest this for you guys. So check this out. That is, is that not just beautiful? Now this is typically ground into corn meal. So do stick around for that. Not now, but I will be showing you a video of how I'm going to grind this and to make the most amazing green cornmeal that just tastes amazing but you will have to hit that notification bell and probably subscribe if you want to get notified when that video comes out because you definitely don't want to miss that so anyways looking at this just variety of colors on this that is just beautiful this could be just an ornamental corn you know just the shucks like this like in a fall decoration even okay so a lot of these uh, quote unquote Indian corns or just corns of the native indigenous people um, just the coloration of it. So that is missed when you have nothing but just these fields of bright yellow, super, super sweet, you know, corn. You lose a lot of this, this ancient genetics and variety. So let me uh, go ahead and show you some more of the harvesting of this awesome plant. And uh, go ahead and just kind of make this video pretty quick. So let's check it out, what we got going on over here. All right, so continuing the harvest over here. Hey, where'd you go? There you are. Anyways, now look at this. This corn is mature. It did make a nice, you know, really small head. Now the problem with this being, you can kind of tell the sun's back behind where the camera is right here. Uh, this side here gets morning sun, but this side here definitely gets all the majority of the sun. So this side I think is a little bit more shaded out. The stalks are not quite as, as uh, thick as the ones on the sun side over here. So that does have a lot to play in it. If you're growing corn, Give them as much sun as possible. In a perfect world, I probably should have grown these more uh, in this direction, going this way, as opposed to north-south, because it's gonna like shade off some of your corn. So learn that lesson if you do try to grow some of your own heirloom dent corn in the future. Now, one reason I like growing all of these heirloom corns is just for the nostalgia, maybe, or maybe it's just for the just the unique varieties to grow. I mean, how often do you have corn like this? You can just go to the grocery store and get, right? Green corn, it's not gonna happen. So one other bonus tip you guys need to follow along with here is if you're trying to preserve something like this heirloom corn, especially that is, um, you know, something really difficult to really find, it's not that common, um, although it is available through several uh, websites online. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is you don't wanna grow any other corn varieties near this as corn are very, very, very easily cross-pollinated with one another. So corn being a plant that if it is cross-pollinated, you're gonna be able to tell with that generation of the seed. Unlike a tomato or a pepper or cucumber, or just typical vegetable garden plant, you're gonna to have to wait until you grow the seeds out the following season 
to determine if there's a hybrid or some kind of cross-pollinization going on right there that will lead to a different uh, offspring the following generation. Now corn, if I had grown standard sweet corn over here or if my neighbor were growing sweet corn, you would actually have individual kernels that were cross-pollinated being of a different color. So that may be something you might be interested in. I've seen several guys on some videos that are pretty cool actually, where they grew this corn with some, uh, some red corn and some black, which is more of a really just a super dark purple variety of corn. Um, and you'll see the red and black and yellow and different colorations on the corn itself. So if you want to give that a shot, uh, give that a try. Why not? I prefer to keep this, uh, try to keep this variety. This is the first time I've grown it uh, pure um, to be able to save the seeds and uh, distribute them and grow them again next year. All right, so there you go, guys. Growing unique, rare heirloom corn is not only fun and rewarding, it's just a good hobby. It's something that everyone, I encourage you to do. Just even if it's just for the ornamental value, growing something different than the standard vegetables you find in your garden, as there are literally thousands of varieties of heirloom vegetables out there that you don't find in the grocery store that are far exceptional in flavor, in quality, in variety, and taste than you'll find in the supermarket or the grocery store in your neighborhood. All right, guys, so thanks for hanging out with me here on the hillside. I hope you enjoyed it. Do remember to subscribe and look for more videos of growing heirloom corn, heirloom vegetables, peppers, flowers, you name it. It'll be grown here on the hillside. All right, guys, until then, I hope to see you then. Bye-bye.